Hello there, this is going to be a general love reading for all signs. <sighs> if you follow me on Instagram, you know the deal and you know what's happening. XI underscore Missy underscore XI. I just did a live there earlier and the energy was all about enchanting, right? Taylor Swift's enchanted to meet you. Last night, I finished up the enchanted candles for those of you that have been waiting for your pre-order. And if you're just curious what they look like, you can go and look at it. I posted it in my stories um, on Instagram. But it's this extremely enchanting energy, right? That's what the enchanting enchanted line is right the bracelet the candle the moon water it is that feeling you get when you meet a new person and it's just oh, please don't be in love with someone else please don't have somebody waiting on you i was enchanted to meet you you're surprised it's gonna be a fucking surprise all right see there's a surprise coming it could be a surprise encounter right meeting someone new this could be a surprise message a surprise offer uh but it's a surprise it catches you off guard and it's it's happy it's joyful right there's this celebratory sort of a feeling to it but what is quite interesting about the card itself, and this is my pink potion oracle, is you see how the present is wrapped up so you don't know what's inside. That gives me the vibe also of hidden in plain sight because, I mean, a present is right in front of you, but you don't know what's in it. And so whether this is like a pleasant surprise that someone didn't realize like what it was, right? It's just one of those things like it didn't get presented exactly as what it was. Could this be friends and it shifts into something deeper, friends to lovers, sure. But whatever it is, it wasn't presented as what it was right up front. Okay, right? So the, the guise of this is something else. It's business, it's friendship, uh, someone that you just counted out completely. Career, well, it could be career related. <laughs> right it's the contractor that you hired to work on your house it's the fucking mechanic working on your car you, you know or you meet them while you're working while they're working there's a work possible career connection now taking love out of this this is also some sort of big surprise uh a career opportunity something that you didn't see coming there's almost like this explosion for some of you where everything starts happening all at once not only is it business and career but it's also love like it's just once the floodgate opens everything just comes through lush see opening up everything opens up deja vu so the lush is the feeling of all of these things are opening. Lush means it's big and it's open, right? And it's also, mwah. but but that the feeling that I get is like, look, I mean, the flower itself is very fully opened and 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 fully bloomed, and it feels like the surprise, pr the present is opened, if if you will, okay. Now with deja vu, there's this feeling of somebody keeps feeling deja vu. But I keep feeling like I feel like I know you. I feel like I know you. I feel like I know you. It's also stimulating something from them from a past life. That's the whole, I, I feel like I know you because it, you, you met before in past lives. It's very past lifey. I feel like I know you. I feel like I know you. You're stimulating them, body, mind, soul. So they would be extremely physically attracted to you, but you also stimulate something within them. It, I, I feel like it stimulates awakening. It stimulates healing. See, you have the golden touch card because you stimulate some sort of healing in them. You've got this touch. You, it's a je ne sais quoi. There's something about you. You you leave your mark. Everything you touch turns to gold. You know, it's that type of a feeling. It's very like Midas and the golden go, golden touch. Okay, it's very... And you guys know, I've told you about this, that there's a song that I fucking have loved ever since forever, ever, 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 since I was young. Um, and it's a reggae song by... His name is Shinehead. And it's called Golden Touch. And that's the whole reason I put that... Um, you know, when I picked this card and created it, I had that song in mind. And if you've never heard that song before, go and listen to it. I talked about it very recently when this card came out. Um, we read the lyrics to it, you know, and it's, it's, it is very much so like when you meet a person who makes you feel things and it's just this, um, a very soulful encounter. It's magic is basically what it is. 
there's a magical encounter that happens here. Someone's feeling it. That's important now because you can have a magical encounter and someone not feel it and recognize it. They feel it. You have sentimental because someone's in their feelings. It's period. They're, they miss you. They're thinking about you. You got them in their feelings. Vacation. Uh-oh. Oh, how travel and vacation comes up non-fucking stops. Is someone worried about you going on vacation? Do you meet this person on vacation? Right? It could be like for all of you, something different. The vacation is taking time. It's a retreat. There, there's something about a vacation that puts somebody in their feelings. They get in their feelings about that because it's sentimental. They miss you when you're gone. Right? They're, they could be worried that you're going to be like how Stella got her groove back. Right? From the movie. How she goes to Jamaica and hello, she meets Winston. Like they're automatically thinking that they're you're going to go and meet you a Winston. Fantasizing. That's what they're fantasizing about. They're fantasizing about you going out there and you meeting somebody. Well, I'm not taking a vacation, Missy. Okay, well, it doesn't matter. Take the vacation part out. Remember, it's a general reading. Just take bits that relate to you. They're fantasizing. They're fantasizing sexually about you, obviously, because you have the stimulating. But it's also that they're fantasizing about all of the different things that, you know, that you could be doing. And with who you're doing it with. <sighs> Their minds wandering. Yes way, Rosé. And friendship. They don't want to be your friend. Again, we talked about that here. Could it be that you were friends? It's just like Colin uh, uh, Bridgerton, right? In season three of the Bridgertons. It's like Colin and Penelope, uh, Penelope. They've been friends forever. Ever, 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 ever. And all of a sudden, something shifts. Now, she's always felt it. And he did too, but he refused to recognize what he felt, right? He tried to push it away. He tried to travel to get away from her, right? Traveling to get their mind off of it and trying to alleviate it and see if they can find this feeling elsewhere. And what do they find? They find that they can't find it elsewhere. It's, it's her. It's you. Somebody here doesn't want to be your friend anymore. They don't want to be your, your business thing. They, they don't want to do that anymore. This energy has been coming up so heavy since like last year. They, they don't want that. Something is shifting. It's changing. Do you fantasize about your fucking friend? No. No, you don't. So the fact that they're thinking about you in a sexual sort of connotation says it right there. And for them, if they've never thought about you like that or it didn't present itself like that, if it's the guy who's coming to clean your fucking pool, right? <laughs> <laughs> and he's going home thinking about what the fuck you look like naked. It's freaking them out. You have elusiveness because it's been hidden. See the surprise? It's, a, it's wrapped up. It's hidden. This particular person has sort of kept the things to themselves. It's Bigfoot, right? Bigfoot is also this energy of does it exist? Is it real, right? It's very... Um, uh, there's controversy about that. And that's what this feels like. It's like this person is not only like Bigfoot where, you know, it's this, um, they kind of hide like this and they're sort of elusive and in the, in the shadows or whatever they're doing, keeping their feelings to themselves, presenting themselves as, hi, Mrs. So-and-so, good day, good afternoon, good morning. Um, I'm here, at, it's, I'm confirming that at 10 o'clock, I'm going to come to clean your pool, you know, whatever the fuck. Or if it's like your fucking friend that you've been friends with, right? Um, it's like there is this energy of it does exist. And that's what they're feeling. Do you know what I mean? Holy fuck, it does exist. I think what I'm feeling is actually love. That card says new love. Now, this is one of two things. This is them realizing this is this, it's a new feeling for them. And the new feeling is actually love and romantic feelings. It's not just friendship or just business acquaintance. But also there is, there's a new motherfucker coming in. Because if they drag their goddamn feet, it's just like season three in Bridgerton. Colin just dragged his feet, entertained other bitches, ignored what he felt for Penelope, until Penelope met Lord Debling. Now when there's this really amazing opportunity and option, not a freak the fuck out because it's like the option is so great. How could you refuse it? They don't give a fuck if you be entertaining chunk change. 
but you're not going to entertain chump change because what's going to come in is going to match your vibration. And if your vibration is elevated, you're going to meet someone who's an amazing match. And here you have secret admirer because that's what they've done. They've kept it to themselves. That's the whole elusiveness, right? They've, they've watched from the shadows. They've loved you from afar. They've been attracted to you from afar. They are the secret admirer. The guys, the mask is something else. It's not presented as romantic. You have charming at the bottom of the deck because it's very charming and enchanted. They're enchanted by you. Okay, period, point, fucking blank. They're enchanted by you. But you're a charming bitch. And what they realize is if they're enchanted by you and you charm them, you can charm another motherfucker. See, the panic will set in. Why does the panic set in? Because they don't want no one else to love you too. All of a sudden, Lord Debling hits the scene. Colin Bridgerton is freaking the fuck out because he's saying, oh my God, see, fucking union. Very first card from my Say La Vie deck. Look, sudden change. Because that's it. It's just like Bridgerton. It's like suddenly Colin just all of a sudden is like, I love her. I see it, I get it, I, I love her, and I don't want anybody else to have her. I, I don't know why I didn't act upon it sooner, I don't know why I denied it, or why I didn't see it point blank, right? Whatever, it's gonna be different for each of you. It is exactly like this. It's sudden, wake up suddenly, you're in love. It's very Billy Ocean, I've channeled it for fucking years here on YouTube. It's exactly what happens to Colin in Bridgerton. He wakes up and suddenly he's in love. Like not just, I have affection for, like in love. It's killing him, he's pining, he's yearning, now he's jealous at the thought of any fucking buddy else being near her. When they're in the vicinity of each other physically, he needs to have his eye on her at every fucking second. If the bitch go outside, this motherfucker went outside. She went to the side, he had to go to the side. He, he could not stop, he couldn't not be around her because it's magnetic and, 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 and it's like it's been activated. Boom, it's been activated. Once it becomes activated, it's just like that. They won't be able to like leave you alone. Union, because that's what they want, because that's what they see now and that's what they feel. And it is a sudden change in them. Some of them could have changed their mind. It, th there was no option of this to them. No, there's no way this could be romantic. There's no way this could be possible. And th the change is them. Because the change in them creates a change in this scenario and in this fucking situation. They change. They have a change of heart or feeling. They see you differently. Self-care, that's what a bitch is doing right now, man. Penelope said, let me change my fucking outfit. Let me do my hair a little bit fucking differently. You know what I'm saying? She was like, let me just change some shit up a little bit. Let me go in and, and turn it up a little bit. And she just did a little bit of a tweak here and there. And boom, self-care. You're taking care of yourself better, body, mind, soul. And here we have ebb and flow. And you know that ebb and flow, right, is the emotions. The emotions before I feel like have sort of come and then it's retracted. And then it came and it retracted. Now look at what happened with the waves. You see what happened? You can't make the shit fucking up. So they could get away with this, right? Because they feel it and then it disappears. Okay, well, she's out of sight, out of mind. Guess what's going to happen when you're out of fucking sight? Bitch, it's going to be severe. They're going to be thinking about you nonstop. It's quite obsessive because the, the wave has crashed. And now they can't get out of it. They're swimming in it. They're drowning in it. A new door opens. Yes, and you have friendship again because they don't want to be your friend. If this is the platonicness you sit in, this new door that opens leads to this. Do you see what the fuck this is? Oh, my God. Romantic feelings. Shut up. It's like I'm fucking psychic or something. That's what I fucking just said. The, whole, I, the new door opens and it's romantic. They don't want to be your fucking friend. They do not want to be your fucking business friend person, professional, client, whatever. They don't want to fucking be platonic. 
the something changes and there's a huge sudden change in them because they now feel it boom it's undeniable it's it's they've awakened to it do you understand they've awakened to this and i've, I've said it for fucking years competition would smoke them out because that's exactly how it usually works look answered prayers bottom of the deck and we got that earlier on my live on instagram Competition smokes him out. Isn't that what happened with Colin? You know, the reason Colin realized he had to make a move is because competition arrived. And it wasn't shit competition. It wasn't crumbs. This was a rich motherfucker that came on the scene. Not very, you know, like she said, well, he's not very bad to look at. You know, he was rich and all the bitches wanted this motherfucker, Lord Devlin. Because, you know, he was a great catch. Weird and odd and eccentric, but he was a great catch. And Colin knew that. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. You were the best thing in my life. I wish I could take my words back. I wish I had treated you better. I know I was a distraction from your pain. I bury myself in work to forget you. I love you unconditionally. I hide behind material things. You and I were too young. As for some of you that that relates to, not everybody will. I regret lying to you because, look, I love you. I think that that's the part that they regret. I don't think they necessarily lied to you. I think they gave the impression they weren't interested and they weren't available. In fact, didn't it say that? It does. It says, I'm not available. That's the impression they gave. They gave the impression, I'm not an option with you for love. And whether they said those exact words or just alluded to it, they don't, they regret that because it's not how they feel now. See, eight of wands. It's like Cupid's arrow hit them eight fucking times overnight in a blink of an eye. Something shifted. That's also a massive sudden change, right? That sudden change twice, basically. This is also communication. It could be a message that comes in. And this message comes in after this person is hoarded. They've basically hoarded and kept to themselves all the things they wanted to say. It's exactly what happened in Bridgerton with Colin. They've hoarded all of their feelings. They kept it to themselves. Pride and ego kept them from speaking their mind and speaking their truth. And there's a sudden explosion, right? A sudden fucking explosion of feelings. And now all of a sudden they want to be truthful. The King of Swords speaks the truth. King of Swords is very truthful and he's also very decisive. And this will tell you that they've made up their mind. When they decide it's you, it's you. And they're not going to back down from it. And they won't change their fucking mind either. No other bitch could ever compare once they make up their mind. I'm telling you. Because that's just the way it is. The sun. See, they awaken to it. Oh, God, I love being right. I'm an Aquarius with a Capricorn moon, honey. My aqua always knows every goddamn thing. It's a joke. Because when you know, you, when you don't know, you know is what, is what it is, right? That's what all the gurus tell us. But this, I told you, they're fucking awaken to it. Wake up suddenly, you're in love. I fucking told you. I told you. They've had some sort of awakening. They've awakened to something that what something's there that wasn't there before. It's very beauty and the beast. Just a little change. Small to say the least, both a little scared, neither one prepared, beauty and the beast. Ever a surprise, don't they say that in the song too? Ever a surprise. Oh, it's going to be a surprise, all right. Oh, oh, it's going, oh, oh. <sighs> Oh, it's going to be a surprise, all right. Because it'll be shocking. Ten of coins, it come with the whole shebang. The ten of coins is putting it all out there. It's all or nothing. 
But this also confirms this person has a lot of money. They're very successful. The sun is success. They're very fucking successful. They got a lot of money or they're like a, the boss. They're the leader. They own their own business or they're like at the top of the fucking food chain in whatever business they work at. They got money, honey. Okay? Now you have the lovers because fucking duh. <laughs> is no fucking elegant way to say it or some spiritual way for me to say it which is the lovers fucking duh <laughs> with the sun above them because now both of them awaken now both of them are going to be more magnetically drawn towards the other and in the card it's so funny because you can see that like the the queen here she's yelling at him and he's all like trying to you know like well this is what this was a kid <laughs> he's literally doing this well, um, so, um, you know, like, like he's trying to fucking get her in her good graces because he ain't in her good graces. This is like the, in the, in the show when she, when, when he's confessing to her and she's like basically telling him, shut up, shut the hell up. Don't say shit you don't fucking mean. Shut up, Colin. You know, when they're in the carriage, she's basically like telling him, shut the fuck up. Don't, don't fucking start. Don't say shit like that. That you, you know, she's just like telling him basically to go F himself. Because why now? Why? Because I got a great catch. Why now? What, you just want to fuck it up for me? Like what? It's literally the conversation that could be had in that sort of a way where they come in and they go, listen, so I was thinking, what about me and you? And she's just going to lose her fucking shit. Like <laughs> she's just going to like lose her fucking mind. And they know you are too. So when they come in for this conversation or they come in for, for this confession or, 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 or whatever, however it presents itself, understand that they understand that they are going to get the wrath. They know. They know. They do. They know. And they know they deserve it. Because they're going to have to explain themselves why they were doing what they did before. Because I bet you 100 million percent that they were cold. They didn't reciprocate. Like, let's say if it is somebody that was like working on your house or somebody in a business thing. Let's say you were really friendly with them. And they weren't friendly back. And you were like, oh kind of, you know, like, oh, fuck, okay, like, feeling like a fool almost, <clears throat> they didn't reciprocate, so you shut down, and so you just weren't friendly back, and they felt it, and they realized it, and they're like, god, I'm a fucking idiot, what am I doing, deception, someone is wearing a mask in this relationship, <sighs> what did I just fucking say, what did I just fucking say? Because that's the mask is them pretending they don't fucking care. That's the mask is is when you were friendly with them and, and, and thinking like, oh my God, there's a spark here. There's something. Or for the very least, we could be friends. Like, you know, you were feeling some kind of vibe with them and they weren't doing shit. And you were like, oh, 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 okay, shit. Let me real, let me, let me dial this back. They were hiding it. Do you understand elusiveness? They were hiding it. They are the one, motherfucker, motherfucker. They are the one you've already met the romantic partner you seek, motherfucker. Like I said, with the lover's card when it came out, fucking duh, duh. And we're getting into this extended, should you wish to rent it, Click the of this video, the word more. It's going to bring up all my links. Click on it. It's going to take you to my website, saltwaterheelstarot.com. Go to the extended readings and the special love slash oracle readings. Follow me on Instagram so you can check out that live we did earlier. It was so much fun. XI underscore Missy underscore XI. Thank you for your likes, your shares, and your subscriptions here on YouTube. Remember, if you're waiting for your enchanted candle pre-order, I just finished them last night. Give me a chance to charge them up and, you know, do my, my, my magic jujus on them. And I will start working on the last batch of the money candles and then everything will be ready to go. Everything will be ready and done. Okay. So I'll see you guys in the extended. Love you. Bye.